right, this is what we're going to have to do. Um, gas or IV. And then they schedule it. So I, just, I don't fucking know. Uh, how, how bad were you? Were you laid up for a few days? I mean, my mouth hurt, but it was... I mean, if he does, if he if he gets it done, I don't see how he maybe miss one day of work. But if he does that, he's scheduled on a Friday, so he's back by Monday. Yeah. yeah I bet you he schedules it on a Monday. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna text him actually when I pull up to this job and say if they ask you, schedule it for you know Friday so that you're ready to go on Monday. Yeah. All right. Bro, these guys didn't pour this. Oh my god, man, I'm wasting my fucking time. Now they got a cement trailer. I drove by earlier. Major was here. They must have poured the curb earlier, and now they're pouring the rest. Whatever. Mike Massey can close that one out. He did or did he? <laughs> oh, he can close that one out. Gotcha. No, and then I talked to Manny and. He's like, how am I supposed to clean this splatter off of this wood? I'm like, I don't know, man. You got on dish soap, buy a bottle, like, you got wipes, like, try and clean it off as best you can. Send Nick a picture. Like, try and scrape off the chunks with your fingers. Fuck. And then he's like, I wanted, it was hoping to go up north. Like, I had texted Nick if I can get off at three or four. He hasn't responded. I'm like, just work till four. You're fine. Yeah. I can't fucking deal with all this nonsense. Yeah. Exactly. So. Yeah, he was complaining to me earlier about that. I told him, I, I said, know. dude, I was planning on the same thing, but I wasn't counting on it because it never works out. I know. He's like, I worked 60 hours last week, and, you know, I was hoping to just knock off like an hour early today. I'm like, dude, just leave it for if they say anything to you. Tell them I told you it was fine. I don't care. They can take it out of me. They won't say a word. They won't There's, even. Uh, they won't even notice. Probably not. Probably be having a party for something or other. Somebody's birthday party. Well, that's probably yeah, I mean, that's, that's probably that's, that's probably why we can't get a hold of them. They're having Manny's birthday party up there. Yeah, I mean honestly, if it wasn't the end of backlog month, they probably wouldn't even be working at all. Yeah. I'll hit the, I'm going, I just got done with Catalpa, heading to the Detroit one, seven miles, and I'll hit the mid, middle belt. And then, What's uh, that? Sorry, you're cutting out. I said, I'll hit the seven mile, then the middle belt, finish that list off, and then I'll start heading to the other end of that list. All right, sounds good. Yeah, I don't, I don't fucking understand this. Like, why is he not just dropping this thing off to them? Why is he actually the one pumping this water out? Maybe I, Nick was probably like, well, they need to pour all that they can pour, so we need you to stay there and pump it out for them. So that's just it. It's like, we got to make sure we got have this all done by the end of the day. The only ones doing it are you and me. I know. Freaking, they got Manny picking concrete off, which that can't be done on Tuesday. I do this, yeah. And then they got him checking mistake markings, which Marge called me about that. I'm like, like I'm not, I'm fucking not near there. She called me when I was in Trenton. I'm like, I'm not near it. And then she called me again about it, the PO. And I'm like, like send, I'm like, have Manny do it because everybody else, I think, was, was supposed to be working on lists before they got pulled off on stupid shit. Yeah. Next time Nick says something, you got more scouters than reference this day. Yep. But the most important day you're supposed to have all this stuff closed out. And then we've got two scouters. Oh yeah. It's fucking stupid. Yeah. Oh boy. Uh, but whatever. We only do what we can do, man. Three day week.
weekend. That's what I'm going to focus on. Yeah, that's all you can. Now my girl, she's talking about, like, I guess her, her dad wants to do a boat trip on Monday. And I'm like, he can't do Sunday. Like, yeah, I want to go out on the boat, but I really do not want to, like, be hung over on Monday. And, well, yeah, I don't want to, like, go there at noon, get on the boat. We won't get off the boat and home until, like, 8 or 9 o'clock, probably. Yeah, yeah we hung over on Tuesday and feeling like shit. Sun, yeah. Sunburned. Supposed to, supposed to be like 90 on Monday. Yeah, I mean, it's, and that's why they're, they're like, well, Monday's supposed to be like the best weather. And then I'm like, God damn it, whatever. She's like, well, if you don't want to go, I'll just go by myself. I'm like, no, I'll go. It's not that I don't want to go on the boat. I just don't want to spend the whole day out on the water in the sun on the boat. And then next thing, you know, next thing I know, I'm getting home, going to sleep, and waking up on Tuesday. Right. You always have a dental consultation. God damn, dude, watch yourself. This fucking truck's gonna run right into me. And so I don't know what's stopping me from just driving this thing into a median right now. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> Fuck. So. I think I need to get me a double quarter pounder with cheese today. Just to get my spirits up. Oh, shit. It's fucking... God damn, guys. Turn the fucking left and up. Middle lane. Freaking block of traffic. left on that other list too, right? Yeah. It's already fucking two o'clock though. I know. I'm like 15 minutes away from this Brownstown one, and I shouldn't be far from Flat Rock. Yeah, there's four or five in Flat Rock, so... I guess Fridays are my Flat Rock day now. <sighs> That's right. I probably have to go and sweep up the street somewhere over there. Oh no, though. Have something for you to go to emergency job in uh, Shelby Township. Yep. Yeah, just wait. Freaking 4:30. We're gonna they're gonna start sending a bunch of shit out. over the top of the buildings, you'll see these two big white. If I'm going south, am I looking right or left? Uh, if you're heading south, it'll be left. There'll be a crane on the top. There was a crane on the top of one of them. Oh, I see a red crane. Is it on top of one of the white things? This one's just holding an American flag. I don't think it has anything to do with that. 
No, that's on the right side. You went on the left side. Your other left. Yeah, I think I passed it already. I missed it. It's easy, easier to see going the other direction. Yeah. Because it's in front of you. Just try and make sure I don't crash into somebody while I'm looking the opposite way. Well, when you're coming back, look for it. You'll see it. Well, chances are I'm not going to come back this way. If I'm going to Flat Rock and then I'm the Taylor. Uh, yeah, you're right. You'll be coming back 94. used a whole tank of gas today. That's crazy. Well, I still got this little off still over a quarter tank. by the end of the day. That's just insane. I'm at like 4,427. 99.42. That's crazy. I guess now it makes sense why when I first started here, Brett said he likes doing streets over scatter. <laughs> yeah. You gotta like driving doing scatter. He's like, yeah, Mike does scatter. He's like, he probably drives like 200 plus miles a day. At least. I'm like, yeah. I, pr I probably average between two and 300, I bet. I, I was gonna try to calculate it out. Uh, Rick, we, Rick knows the exact date we got the trucks. So I just take the total mileage, divide it by, f take out the weekends, no. divide it by yeah, the number of days. Many, how many weeks you've had it. Yeah. Let's see how many I've done. But I bet it's closer. It's right, probably right around between two and three. I bet. watch out for you after you told me the story about the old lady at the bar. No, I got my own old lady now. Yeah. Just don't tell her I said that about her. Uh-huh. Although I call her an old lady all the time. <clears throat> I've been smoking like a fiend today. Oh, dude, I these last couple days, like, I'm pretty sure I went through a whole pack of cigarettes yesterday, pretty much. I think I had one or two left today. I, I opened this pack I have when I left the house. I just lit another one. I got three left. Yeah. It's like every every email and stupid message that got or, you know, thing that comes through, I'm just like, oh, God, give me a cigarette. <clears throat> yep. Same way. Because 
been any more emails? I haven't even looked. I don't think so. I got some from Nick. I have to meet with this supervisor for DTE on Tuesday to like basically go over all this shit work on Chamberlain. Shit work on Chamberlain. What's that? I don't know. There was a bunch of pictures. There was a couple of addresses of concern and then they, the supervisor was basically like we should walk the whole segment and go over the look at everything. And then of course Nick's like okay we'll meet this day and then he emails Brian are you available? I have a consumer meeting this day at this time. I'm like One will be that fire station. There's another oh, that's one. A, that's off. That's off of Lafayette. Oh. But, no, Chamberlain. This is like there was one where the the water box wasn't flush. There's another one that's holding water. There's another one that's cracked. Remember when Nick sent us down there to see her? Sent that email about like try and uh, look at this job and see if you see somebody parking on the sidewalk on Chamberlain. Yeah, I remember. I was there. Yeah, he, in the email he basically said that that to the guy that looks like people drive up, like all that sidewalk's right next to the street, so people likely drive right up on him. No, that was a bad pour. You can tell the finishers did a terrible job there. Yeah, probably. paper or email or send a text saying we just finished this job we just finished this job then they'd have a list of the jobs to actually close instead of going through guessing going through the exactly. whole list of jobs they have it's just stupid no I agree I just don't I don't get it I don't just I don't like thinking about this stuff. It gets me worked up. I know. Musa, uh, think about beer and oh, think I'm at pizza tonight. Think about that. Well, once I get up to the up to the cottage, I'm gonna be relaxed. Yeah, it does sound nice. It will be. It always is. The fuck, fuck am I at? Out with sticks. exactly where you're going. Yep. You, just, yep. you, went, you went by it, it's on the right hand side. Yeah. Yeah, that was it. I was there two or three times in one day. What in the hell is this? Uh, is turn right on the King Road. Turn right on the 
Telegraph, turn right into Lloyd's Mobile Home Park. Lloyd's? Turn left to, turn left to stay on Lloyd's Mobile Home Park. Turn left to stay on Lloyd's Mobile Home Park. Oh, dude, I, I know I know exactly which one this is that you're going to. Is it in a mobile home park? Yes, it is. And it's not where the GPS is going to take you to the right of the... When you go in, it's going to take you to the right and down and then tell you it's there. It's not there. you got to go all the way. The street it tells you to go down, go all the way down to the end, and then take a left and go all the way over to the the last road. Shit, there it is. Go over to the last road, and it'll be on your left-hand side next to this mobile home. I, I think I put a note in there about... Uh, the address of the actual mobile home it was like 70 something or okay well, i'll keep you on the phone right now while i'm like two minutes away the mobile home park <sighs> has got like a wood fence going out to the road it's kind of set back a little ways and there's like a sign right there on your right hand side god i sure hope this one is completed <laughs> this will be a real waste of time. No, it's it won't be. I know. I've been there two or three times. I went there the last time we went through Ed's list. Oh, great. It wasn't done. So, yeah, this says turn right onto Lloyd's, and then after 250 feet, it says turn left to stay on Lloyd's. Yeah, just keep going. When you pull, have you pulled in yet? No, I'm uh, about a quarter of a mile. I'll let you know here when I pull in. Let's see. Maybe I can find me a hot mobile home lady. Yeah, I don't think there is any. Creekside mobile home community. Oh my god, is that fucking it? I fucking hate myself. You went by it, didn't you? I did too the first Shh. time. It's the only entrance, too. You gotta turn around yep. and go back. Turn around in these apartments. I was like, dude, I don't like, like, my GPS, like, my phone is a lot more accurate. Like, when I'm looking at it on the screen in the truck, yeah. it's like, it's I'm right up on the street, and on here, it still shows the street, like, a little bit away. Yeah. And it's like, I just constantly keep fucking going past these. All right, let's try this again. I'm looking for Boyd's mobile home. This thing says Creekside. I think that's it. Yeah, it's got to be. It's where it says the turn. Yeah. Yeah, I probably shouldn't turn around that quick. So you're saying, like, I pull in, there's a stop sign, I go right? Well, it's going to tell you to, I think. When you go in, it's going to tell you to just go, like, straight ahead is the office. Yep. It's going to tell you to go to the right of that office. Go all the way down that road until it ends. And I well, think it looks like it's one way. Yeah. Go right. I, I went the wrong way. So you so I go right and don't go down the one way? 